Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly forecast for June 10th through the 16th. Those of you who are regulars, welcome back. You may notice we have a little bit of a different setup here in honor for the summer season. And because I'm using a cute little mermaid deck here, as always, I will have the deck info in the description. And guys, last week I got so much positive feedback on the prayer from the blessing deck. You guys seemed to really be into that, or at least a lot of people were. So I'm going to do another blessing card, prayer card for you at the end, Aries. So stick around for that. This is going to be a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Guys, these are general readings. They may resonate. They may not. If they don't resonate, no need to get upset. No need to get angry. Okay? It's all right. It's okay if it doesn't resonate. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, my darlings. Monday, Tuesday, Aries, you've got Imrama, Wonder, Voyage, Crossing Deep Waters, Pilgrimage, Journey of the Soul. So now those of you who um, have been watching my videos or who are familiar with the way that I read, you know that I read intuitively. So you know that not only do I look at the card and the meaning on the card or the words on the card and whatever the book has to say about the card, I also read by the images, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, interpret some of what's coming up for me for you, Aries. And I invite you to do the same, to look at the pictures, what colors, what images, what animals, what things are jumping out at you, what do those things represent or mean to you. Feel free to take it and put a little bit of a personal spin on it because these are general readings. Um, for your Monday, Tuesday, you are going to be having this uh, searching, soul searching. I'm hearing, I'm hearing soul searching. Uh, I also feel, Aries, some of you are really, and I think this came up for you last week, but kind of like in a little way, it kind of was touched on, but I'm feeling it more strongly for you all this week. There seems to be planning of a significant trip right maybe you're not traveling this week but you're thinking about it you're thinking about going away for a while or taking some time off or putting money aside and just kind of going off and finding yourself maybe some of you are like super into like oh I'm gonna go backpacking or hiking or I'm gonna go on a cruise or I'm gonna go you know visit a country that I've always been curious about or whatever it might be but I feel the purpose of this trip Aries is that you're wanting to find yourself uh, some of you are having some memories coming up to your mind very intense memories memories from childhood memories from uh you know things that you've gone through and i'm not gonna go and say it's like super traumatic maybe for some of you it is and and i mean, I, I hope not I, I don't wish that for anybody and i'm definitely sending you all love and light but it feels to me more along the lines of memories are coming up they're significant they might be serious in nature but it feels to me more like these memories are coming up to help you figure out what your false beliefs are like oh that's that time when i was eight years old but that that thing happened and ever since then I believed that everything was my fault or I believed that, you know, uh, money was really hard and I was going to be poor forever or whatever it might be. There are certain things that happen in our life, certain moments where we develop certain limiting beliefs. So I feel the memories that are coming up for a lot of you areas in the beginning of the week are memories for that reason. Your spirit guides and your angels are trying to help you see why you felt a certain way or you know why you've uh, had certain beliefs that have held you back or really what maybe some of those beliefs were because so many of them are so subconscious we don't even know why they're there. And so it's coming up not to torment you but so that you can release it and you can let it go so that it doesn't have to hold you back anymore. Intuitively reading the card as I'm looking at it, you know, she's in her boat. So a lot of you are realizing and you're able to separate yourself from that past and know that you're safe now, know that you're grown up now, you're an adult now, that you have more control over your situation. So there's going to be a sense of empowering. And then the way that she has her hand kind of like in that water and that dolphin is there, I do feel that there's a sense of healing that's also coming in with this memory and the sense of healing and maybe even like wanting to replace it with a sense of playfulness 
or an opposite positive thought. I do think that a lot of you, like I said, are planning something to kind of get away and unwind. And some of you are having a longing to play. So many Aries, you guys, you know, you, you get so serious about your goals and what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish. And that's a beautiful quality. Don't get me wrong. It's wonderful um, to be in that, to have that kind of, um, you know, like commitment and drive and dedication and, and just go, 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 go. It, it's an admirable quality. But a lot of you are desiring there's a need to have some gentleness, some play, some fun. You're kind of like longing for it. You're reaching out for it. You're making plans to be able to connect um, in that way and to have some some release and some fun and some playfulness. Okay. I do feel overall, Aries, a lot of you are feeling like you're seeing very, very clear you're feeling like you're really seeing through issues, problems, situations, other people. You're feeling like you're just really having this very clear vision of what's going on in your life, what has happened in your life till now, and how you're going to be able to navigate moving forward. You're going to see a very clear path to your goals, whereas maybe before things felt a little muddied or murky. Your Wednesday, Thursday, Aries, is Honor the Masculine respecting men embracing the masculine divine now for some of you my dears some of these memories that you have coming up may be about the views that you developed about men or about the masculine in your childhood and this applies whether you identify as male or female you know maybe as, as a female you you developed certain views about you know men that you know, um, maybe you have very, very positive views about men. Maybe some of them are unrealistically too positive. Maybe you, like, thought that the men in your life were, like, these invincible supermans. And, like, you know, they could just be invincible and indestructible. And now you're realizing, okay, well, no, men are human and, and men go through things too. And, and sometimes we have to be the strong one. Or, you know, or maybe some of you, it's the opposite. Maybe men, you've been like, oh, you know, men are never around. They're here today. They're on tomorrow you can't depend on them you never know when they're going to be around or their dogs or their players or their womanizers or you may have had very negative uh you know viewpoints of them if you identify as male you may have had certain views uh or things that you thought you know pressure on yourself about what it was going to be to be a man or how you were supposed to be or how you were supposed to act maybe some of you had a lot of machismo stuff kind of like put in your face that you have to be a certain way you got to be this macho guy or this tough guy um or that you got to have a ton of money or you got to have a ton of ladies or um whatever it might be or you have to work like a dog right like oh you know you got to be responsible you got to take care of the family you got to take care of the ladies you got to you know put keep your head down and work really hard and, and and so nothing in life comes easy and that's what it is to be a man and so whatever it might be there might have just been these beliefs that were um, instilled in you about what it is to be a man and so for a lot of you these memories that are coming up in the beginning of the week are also going to cause you to look at your relationship with the divine masculine okay um, and and how it's affecting your life I do feel for a lot of you this is about how it's affecting your love life some of you are doing some kind of healing or release with a father or a father figure where you are forgiving them and letting them go of some expectations that maybe have not been fulfilled okay um, that doesn't mean that what happened makes it okay right when we forgive it doesn't mean that we're saying oh it's okay that you did that no 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 it just means that we're releasing the anger and the resentment we're no longer going to allow it to be on our back 24 7 and we're just kind of letting it go and we are choosing to focus on um, the positive aspects of the divine masculine and to be able to call in the divine masculine into our life or to become the divine masculine for those of who are who are wishing to do that okay but there's definitely a lot of understanding here of what that is and what that looks like and what the expectations are okay so a lot of the memories coming up for some of you is going to be about that about really having a healthy relationship with your own masculinity or the masculinity that you're trying to call into your life your friday saturday and sunday is guide a guide mentor a trustworthy ally okay 
So, um, this is what I feel is happening for many of you. Many, many, many of you. Now, there's going to be a balance of the feminine and the masculine that you're attaining this week, Aries, or that at least it's to the beginning journey of it. So I do feel, Aries, that you have a significant soulmate or soulmate connection that is coming in specifically to be a non, and I repeat, a non, a non-sexual one where there is going to be healing, okay? Uh, so it can come in in many different ways. Like say um, you are a male and you, you only date men and you don't date women, okay? So it could be that there's a very significant female soulmate that's coming in to help you really kind of connect with the feminine or even feminine um, aspects and masculine aspects within yourself because we all have feminine and masculine aspects within ourselves. But I do feel there's some kind of outward, not just necessarily in you or, oh, you're balancing out your masculine and feminine energies. Whatever you identify as, maybe you identify as more masculine, then you're going to be having a feminine person coming in. And it could be male or female, again, because we have those attributes attributes but there's a person that's coming in with the opposite of whatever you identify as so if you're a female right maybe you're a female and you date men right there's a man that's coming in where you're having a very significant soulmate connection but it's not meant to be a sexual one and it's not meant to be a romantic one because spirit is trying to help you see the masculine and the feminine as human beings before you can see them as romantic partners or before you can enter into like you know manifesting this higher soulmate it's coming in in some kind of healing because you know what it is aries you guys are so much into taking everything on your shoulders like you want to do everything because you're very independent right you don't like to uh be needing anybody to do anything you like to take care of things you like to handle your own business again beautiful beautiful quality very admirable but for those of you who've been wanting to master love or even if you don't want to master love, you've just been wanting to master being able to have people in your life who are loyal and that you can depend on and that you can call upon, um, you're going to have to learn to have this kind of uh, yin-yang give and take energy and so it's going to come in through a balance of the masculine and the feminine for many of you there's some divine counterpart that's coming in for you and for some of you it's opening way to like the love of your life or healing a current relationship that you've been trying to salvage for a long time uh, or just to bring in more support into your life so that you don't have to feel so alone okay so there's some massive divine counterpart coming in for many of you we're gonna go ahead and see what your blessing and prayer is for the week aries and again, guys, watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks are going to resonate with you more than others. Um, they can also just bring in a little extra information, a little extra guidance. And as always, if you would like a private reading, I am available for that as well. All the info is in the description. And the love readings are in the description as well. The link to the love readings. All right, so here's your prayer. And your blessing, a blessing to find the truth. Wow, this is really going hand in hand with your your memories and stuff. You guys are really doing some soul searching, some memories. So a lot of truth that you've been looking for is going to be coming in. And here is going to be a prayer for you. Okay, a prayer for you, Aries, at this time. And again, as I said last week, if you want to save this video and come back to it and listen to it every night before you go to bed or every morning when you wake up or just kind of as a pick-me-up, if it's something that resonates with you, feel free to do so. Okay, Aries, a blessing to discover the truth in a situation so you can make choices with full awareness. A blessing on this time, Aries on you so that the truth can be told and thus pour down upon you its unique freedoms may you be blessed with knowing the truth of your own soul and let the transformative powers of truth bring to you the light so that what once was obscured 
now begins to shine, and what was uncertain now becomes defined, sure, glittering in its certainty. Let the blessings of truth be your liberty now, for with truth there is a growth of wings that lift you up and beyond the current burdens that have kept you grounded. Let the speaking of the truth bring you comfort. Let the open-hearted honesty of it cure any confusion, and let the conviction of your new knowledge bring you the rewards you are so deeply due. Let those who know you, who hear you, be healed by the contact with the purity of your words and yourself, and let no one be in any doubt as to the worth of your words and the quality of your character. There is no need to be anything except your own blessed, perfect, honest, and open self. Revealed to you now is the truth of others, their motives laid bare without adornment or manipulation. Let the lamp of truth shine into all that was dark and unknown, both within and without, and let the words you have longed to speak fall freely and without concern from your lips. Truth shall bless you, and you shall bless others, and when you show by example the glorious simplicity of living within the power of your own truth, Live the truth of your soul, and may the souls that share the truth be blessed forever. Blessed be Aries.